music scenes plummeted. But I think there's there's some shows that have a lot more unity and a sense of family than others. I, I guess there's this like mentality with, with metal that... You have to be tougher than a nice person. Right, and that you know, the music that you listen to is superior to anyone else's tastes and uh, you know, that there's, you have to be violent toward other people and it's just not... It's not what music's Just about. because the music's aggressive doesn't mean your aggression has to be full of hate. It should be positive aggression. Right. You come there to get your frustration out, but not to be a jerk to like the next kid who's just standing there trying to enjoy something. Because without like the support from people, where how are band supposed to grow and reach a broader audience? There was no support for a scene then. It would die. What scene would it be? And the whole, you know, you wouldn't have bands starting up. You know, you'd lose, everybody would lose interest. Momentum would slow down. Kids need to look deeper than how heavy or how not heavy music is and see if there's, there's depth to it and honesty and a lot of it. I think it. just be more open to other shows, you know. Try to go to some shows that you don't know any of the bands. But like it brings a lot more kids from different areas that you're never going to get to see, you're never going to get to play in front of them because you're not that big yet. You get to play in front of them. It's cool for big events like that because like there's a lot of people. Are you know, like there for the bigger bands? Well, there's a lot of people that you know would only go to a show at, at the PAC or whatever for just Bloodfest, you know, and that don't don't even normally go to shows, but there's a lot of people there that don't normally see your band and it's a lot a lot of people are there. So it's a lot of ears listening. Even if they're not there to see your band and they walk by and they hear you, they might be intrigued to come step in and watch you. No, if it wasn't for you know Fan bases and you know, getting to know people is like one big family, and like I just, you know, that's how I met them, and I wouldn't be in the band if it was, you know, was it for going you know, to shows and fans and all that stuff. So. I think we can all definitely agree that we're thankful for it every day. Definitely. Like, we might not be that big, but we're still thankful for the people who do support us. It's like with every kind of entertainment industry, it's not necessarily what you know, it's more who you know. And especially in the music scene, you should be making friends and you should be knowing everybody. Everyone should be a tight family. So, you know, there's a little favoritism by the bands that work hard and try to know everybody. Of course they're going to get favored because they're working hard. And the bands that kind of sit back and think everything that should get handed to them, not necessarily going to get the best shows or play at the best venues. So it's a little of both. It's not really favoritism, it's yeah. more... You get favored because you work hard. I feel like that everybody should support their music scene because, like, especially in Michigan, like, we're all like a really we could be like from completely different genres, but we're all like a tight knit group. Like, there's bands that sound completely different from over here and over here, but we all like kind of have the same feeling towards like the DIY aspect of mm -hmm. like booking your own shows, booking your own tours, like working hard pretty much like you said, like that's probably going to be like a constant factor throughout that. We're probably going to say that like a million yeah. times. But it's like you support your friends and what they do because there's a lot of people from around here, especially that are super talented and that need to be like heard. Yeah, you can't, I mean, we get older and there's going to be new kids coming into the music scene and you can't hate certain venues or certain groups of kids just because they're going out there because, you know, you were one of those kids like five or six years ago too. And, you know, you were seeing different bands and different sounds. You have to go back there and support it because, obviously, you came from somewhere. You can't just hate everything you pass from, you know? I think, yeah. yeah, bands definitely need their support from yeah. the local scene because uh, some bands, you know, they, they're they really good. And then if they don't get the response and the support that they get, you know, they're going to question, like, do we suck? 
or do we need to get better? You know, I don't know. That's, I think a big problem is uh, people tend to just hate on bands that they don't yeah. like and just like, oh, I hate this band, I hate the guys in this band, I hate the way they sound, and they just talk crap on them, and they really should be just supporting the bands that they really do like. Because if they're just going to start supporting those other bands, and it's just going to help them grow and in effect it'll actually hurt the other band if they really want to. Yeah, and I feel like every everyone should support local bands because like local bands work really hard as in the fact that they like, I mean, T-shirts cost money, CDs cost money, recording costs money, and these bands like throw so much into it, and that alone says how much they care. Like, bands spend thousands upon thousands of dollars that they're never gonna get back. We don't make any like, money personally. None of these bands do. Half the bands that go see headlining at these big venues in downtown Detroit do not pocket any money out of what they do at like, all. They make enough to eat and travel from venue to venue. It's mm -hmm. pretty much you barely support them because <laughs> you support any band that deserves that. Any band who's full of good good songwriters that write straight from like their heart and they don't do it to be cool or they don't do it to stand out necessarily. They do it because they like truly love it and they pour everything they have into it. Bands need to work harder. This is the thing. Everyone's like, well, shows are too expensive. Well, shows are too expensive because people don't want to see bad bands. And that's yeah, the thing. It's, it's not all necessarily your, your music is bad. It's more of you have a bad attitude. You know, you're lazy about your music. You don't try to promote not, your shows. Yeah. You have a rock star attitude. You know, it's like, all right, you have right. four good, you have a rock star attitude. <laughs> you get four good bands and everyone loves these bands, you know, and you charge a dollar to get in. You know, you have a lot of people coming. Okay. Bloodfest, Jamboree, Warp Tour, well, have, yeah. yeah, they have local showcases, they have local spots, they promote their local bands, and it's awesome. Yeah, Bloodfest is awesome. Yeah, stuff. Like, and it's we're even on Bloodfest this year. Yeah, we're on Bloodfest. I'm really excited, and that helps us a lot because I mean, we like he said, we can take that as an opportunity and just seriously find everybody mm -hmm. there that was like, hey, what's up? We're playing at this time at yeah, this stage. that's cool. Check us out, like, and it helps us in the fact that we're out in Howell and we're from down river, so it's like. It's it's not that far out, but it's far out enough to say like to to branch out to new people. Hi, I'm Jason. I sing in Gateways. Hi, I'm Rob, and I play guitar in Gateways. Well, let's just say like. You get booked on a show most of the time. If you have more like Facebook likes or MySpace plays or whatever, you get to play in the later spots, like the better spots most of the time. If you're a certain genre and you like have you look a certain way and you look more professional, you definitely get more favoritism than anything. You get more support from promoters and everything. It's like the money and the look. That's the only thing that really matters. It's not. There's nothing about the music. Anymore. It's not what it's about anymore. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, it's very important because you know we got to keep it going. Like this is our generation, and you know we like we got to go to the venues, and you know we got to just play. You know, play for fun. And even just like on the internet, just like going on Facebook or going on MySpace or Twitter and just posting, hey, check out this band. There's some good friends of mine. Like even that helps like keep the scene going. Or going to a show, not, and even if you're not even in a band, not even playing, just going, having a good time with your friends. Yeah. Like, that helps so much, and I think that's, like, the most important thing is just that. Mm -hmm. Like, all the stuff that we prepare for everything, and writing the music, and doing everything that we do, like, a little bit of support, just going to a show, or just buying a shirt, helps so much. And I'm sure any band can agree with me on that. Mm -hmm. festivals can go on to promote the actual like, local scene and you know the local bands and just the, the nationals that come by just to promote that just that like, situation and the, once you keep you know keeping that out there the more people will keep their like eyes open 